Hello, everybody. My name is Scatter. Welcome back to Divine Journey 2. Unfortunately, I have a bit of bad news. Um, so we are planning to get into blood magic today. But in order to do that, we need to make the blood altar. And this just needs an insane amount of refined corallium. And to make this much corallium, I would need 37. And I currently have everything to make it, except I'm missing about 700 corallium more. Now, that's a lot. I have 77 currently. I went to the deep dark. My builder basically hasn't been getting anything. I don't know what's up with that. Um, but I think I think we're going to need some more methods to kind of get stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is swap out the white laser lenses for cyan ones in the laser drill because I think we have, for now, enough iridium. And maybe I'll set another laser drill up in the future. Maybe I'll set one up in the uh, end, like it says, is good for iridium. But for now, I think I'll just throw some cyan in there, and then we'll get some more Corellia more. Uh, so hopefully that should ramp it up. But another thing we can do, uh, other than getting into evil craft, because that also takes a drag crystal, what we can do is get the digital miner from Mechanism. Now, it does... The pack does explicitly present it as an option between getting into blood magic or doing this. Obviously, this is an optional thing, and getting into blood magic is completely necessary for progression, but uh, this is something that I think is going to be pretty useful. Um, I mean, it's basically the same as the builder. I mean, it, to me, it seems less powerful, but I don't know. It can filter blocks, so maybe that makes it better. That would make sense to me, but... Um, it doesn't seem too hard to make here. We need a couple of these logistical sorters. And I'm going to need more pistons. Let's just make 100 of them, because why not? And I don't have iron. The, the damn thing doesn't know how to make iron rods. It probably doesn't know how to make any kind of rods, actually. Um, can you make 12? There you go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so automation on rods, probably something I should do. But that's going to be in there. It needs a robot from Mechanism as well. Uh, personal Chest from Mechanism. Pretty easy to make there. I don't think there's quests for any of that stuff, and they're easy enough to make that it's pretty fine to me if they don't. Uh, now, this was really hard to make at one point, but now it's not, so I'll go ahead and make another one. These teleportation cores are not too bad, really. There's just a little bit of kind of stuff that goes into making them uh, that needs to be auto-crafted in all likelihood, so I went ahead and taught the system how. And you can get that in a little bit. And then two of these cosmic alloys. And then our dread crystal. So it's really not too, too bad. Uh, the energy cube. Do I have any energy cube? No. Capacitor? No. So I'm going to have to make that from scratch, which is insanely annoying. Um, but doable. And uh, then we'll get this digital, digital miner all set up. So I decided to teach the system how to make the energy cubes because... I mean, they, 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 they will probably come in handy, almost definitely. And the only thing it doesn't know how to make now uh, is copper wire, which we do need the metal press for as well. And uh, there's a cool thing about these ME interfaces is that if you just put them in the crafting grid on their own, they become these, like... I, I'm not entirely sure exactly how they differ, but, like, I think maybe just the thing is this one has sidedness and it can't be piped into... But I think you need it this way in order for it to work with this. Actually, you know what? I should just test it the other way just to see if it will work. So let's give it a shot, because normally they just like automatically push out to adjacent inventories, right? And given that, I'm going to take that away. But they should be able to push out to the adjacent uh, metal press here. Not totally 100% sure if it's going to work that way. But let's try finding out. So wire, copper wire, let's just make two for now. Okay, it does work just like that, which is cool. And now these are already connected to the ME system, so I don't have to do anything crazy with piping them back in. And uh, to that end, I am going to just make this the skinny version because I think it looks better. And I think it has less uh, risk of sort of going into an adjacent inventory because I can put this hopper back now. And now I shouldn't have to worry about that. Because before, I think they might have got pushed in there. I'm not 100% sure on the sort of internals there. 
but that should be okay. Still got plenty of channels on this line. Yes. So with that, our energy cube should be able to auto craft, and then we can get the digital miner all set up. So the energy cube had some trouble auto crafting. I think it's because of these energy tablets, uh, the, the the like stored energy. I don't know if that's MBT or if it's a different thing. Uh, but I think it just has some trouble with the uh, with the auto crafting there, but that's okay I'll just keep it in mind. I'm sure there's a way to fix it and I will be able to do that again Yeah, just like this like the personal chest is here, but it didn't enter in and that's just because of some weird uh, MBT stuff So it's a little bit annoying, but we can get a robot There that is something that I can see there being a quest for uh, However, it does not appear that there is uh, Unless it's later, I guess, but if it is then I don't care because right now we want our digital miner Okay, so that used up the crystal. So we need that crystal now to get into blood magic and to get into uh, evil craft here. We also need it to make the blood extractor. So I'll need to make another two of these, uh, which is fine, but I, I'll, uh, I'll just set up the auto craft for the steaming Restonian now. So I'm gonna need a lot of these. How many exactly? So four for that one. Oh, none for this. Oh, wait, no, because I need two. It's for the crystals, right? So uh, I need eight blocks. Eight times nine is 72, and we're good on that. So that'll take a while, which is fine. And let's set up this digital miner. So I'll grab some cable. One thing that I've considered setting up is just an export bus on a drawer with, like, one stack in it so I can easily grab cable just because I need it so often. Might not be a bad idea. Uh, but in terms of this miner, I think I can pretty much set it up wherever. And I'll just go here. Sure. Seems like a good plan. Now, I don't know where the power is versus any of the other stuff. It looks like it's right there or right there. There is gonna be fine. And then that's connected to all the main power stuff. So now you should be powered. So it's not ready. Eject off, pull off, silk off to mine zero. So the config, right. So new filter, we want to filter or dict. I mean, I don't really want to filter, do I? I can kind of just mine anything. What does the quest say about it? What do we got? So I can get some of this stuff. Dready Mingit, definitely harder to come by at this point. Radius up to 32, which Y levels you want to mine on and what to mine you'll need to add a filter. Okay, so radius up to 32. Let's just go ahead and make that 32. Minimum Y level zero, maximum Y level 60. We're at 63 now. Just to be safe, let's turn that down to 50. Inverse mode, no, filters, and then if I hit start, it says running and ready, which is good. However, it's not receiving anything. Reset, start, auto eject, auto pull. So there's nothing nearby to auto eject into. Right, I don't think so. I think it ejects either out the top or the back here. Probably the back, I'm not sure what the top would be. It is getting power. All is well, it says. Uh, maybe something about this config is set up wrong. Status all okay. No item, all okay. Hmm. Material mod ID. So I can only get items from certain mods. What if I told you I only wanted Corelli more right now? Probably need to get one to show you so you can learn what it is. It's annoying when mods make you do that, but whatever. I'm also really not getting any from the drill, but I guess it is like a pretty minor upgrade that the lens give, the lenses give. Config, new filter, item stack, Corallium or save. Okay, so you're only getting Corallium. And if I say start, now there's not much Corallium that spawns in the world. I'll give it that. Generates an ocean and swamp biomes. I mean, I'm probably just not going to get any. It says to mine zero. So if I reset, if I take this filter off, it still says to mine zero. What if I told you I wanted to mine? See, it's very annoying because of that. Or dictionary key, null. So require replace, no. What if or any or? Okay, yeah, so that looks like it works. Still says to mine. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
So I can silk touch it. I can, that doesn't really take anything. Maybe it takes extra power. It looks like it does, but that's fine. Uh, so it's just mining any ore right now. Uh, it's definitely not the fastest machine, but I can upgrade it with speed and energy upgrades, which is good. Uh, anchor upgrade, that just keeps it chunk loaded, and that's it. So maybe I want to turn that a little bit faster, but it looks like there's no corral anymore. So that's not going to help too much in the search for more corallium, which is a little bit unfortunate because it is a pretty dire search. Um, yeah, like, let me just head into the deep dark and try and maybe debug what's happening here. Oh, wait, actually, wait. I did see a comment that said something about not being able to uh, do the deep dark, or not being able to set the builder, like, to a greater extent, to a greater offset without, like, doing something in particular. Let me try and find this. Um... Not seeing it now. Um, builder. No, I'm definitely not seeing it now. Uh, am I am I talking crazy? I think I am talking crazy. Okay, well, don't touch the offset for why. Yeah, I I just I I have no idea then why this uh, builder. Like, am I not? Did I hit the part of the deep dark where, like, there's there's just an overworld with trees and shit? Because, like, most of the things it has here is leaves. That's crazy. I didn't think that's how this dimension worked. Like, it's still mining there. That's fine. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to dig straight down. I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to make sure everything is set up right here. I'm going to do what was suggested to me, which was to just click with the card instead of doing anything else and do it that way. So this should all be dirt at this point. And I'm pretty high up, so I'll just cut here until I get to the bottom. Okay, I have come into the actual deep dark part of the deep dark. This is all still dirt, which is fine. And I'm going to quickly put a ceiling above me so that I don't get ambushed by anything and continue the journey down. We're just about done here. And I didn't take the card, but that's fine. I'll just have to go back up and back down again. Okay, so we're here at bedrock. So I'll just go all the way back up. And we are at the part of the deep dark, of course, where the dark is hurting. Looks like it's not fast enough to kill me or anything with the liquid meat, but that's fine. Just get up to where it's light again. Looks like we're fine. Maybe we're not fine. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure why all that's happening. Okay. So you just grab the card out. So you you can you can stop. Uh, you I guess there's no reset, but I'll just take the card out, and I'll just drop all the way down. Hover mode disabled. Emergency hover, good. Okay, so we're at the bottom. Right click there, and if you maybe shift right click, you can only do this on a builder. God, how does this work again? Is it just right clicking? Maybe I right click on the build. I think you right click on the builder first. I can't believe I have to make this trip as many times as I do. It's crazy to see all this stuff being made out of dirt, though. At least we know the builder worked. <laughs> um, all right. There you go. Select the first corner. Okay, well, the first corner, we're only doing this for the Y offset. So the first corner can be there, and the second corner can be all the way down here. New settings, copy to the shape card. Good. And back up one more time. We are running out of liquid meat, as you can see. Uh, in slight danger of dying. Maybe not as slight as I thought. But it looks like we don't actually take damage as often as where the hit sound is happening. So it's fine. Definitely going to have to refill that liquid meat, though. I know, by the way, about the unending bowl trick. I just don't want to use that because, uh, you know, two things. One, it does feel kind of cheaty, I won't lie. But also, if it gets fixed in like, you know, two months when I forget that that was ever a thing that I had to do, then I'm just going to die and I'm going to be like, oh, what is, why am I getting hungry? How's that happening? You know what I mean? Anyway, so not touching the offsets or the Y height. That's just everything. And we can set this as high as we can. 
So there we go. We're getting as many blocks. And then let's just go minus 512. And minus 512 on that as well. Okay. Are you okay with that? Are you actually getting stuff? I mean, I assume you will once you get down a little bit. It's just really frustrating because this has been running for a really long time and I basically don't have anything useful here. Like, I'm just surprised at how much Corallium I need for all this. It's pretty crazy. But I guess I'll just let this run. Sure. Well, one thing I know we definitely can do uh, is go ahead and make the Danknull docking station because that is something that I've definitely considered to be useful in the past before I could actually make it. At this point, I mean, I, it's definitely useful for some stuff. Like, I had to go mine the Abyssal Stone myself. Um, but, I mean, maybe not going to be crucial. Uh, but it's definitely going to be useful. So I think I'll just throw it on down here. No, I think these channels are, are saturated here. This, surely something could change here. I don't have an export bus there. Import bus there. I mean, could I stop making the cold coke at this point, honestly? Can I? 1,500 blocks. 13,600 cold coke. I don't know, really. How much charge service do I have at this point? 74,000. You know what? You go ahead and come down from there. I can set it back up in a more convenient place if need be. And need, need will probably be, but... Uh, for now, I think it's fine. Uh, so we're just making... So we're waiting on the empower as usual. Which is fine. I did... I forget if I did this on camera, but I went ahead and put just some dirt blocks uh, around the atomic reconstructor here just so uh, items would be less likely to pop out of the range for this thing. Seems pretty good so far. I'm really happy with the, the sort of... Maybe not elegant is the right word, but it's either really elegant or really like inelegant i don't know which but just the fact that it just works based on uh you know pickup time i think is pretty nice nicer than i've set it up before i have to throw that in so it can auto craft waiting on a few more um and then we can get the docking station this rending wand i don't know if it's going to be super useful we'll probably have to do some more blood magic or some more abyssal craft later if so then we'll do that and of course we're going to come back and clean up all the quests at some point but that's not going to be quite right now. I'm very excited to get into mystical agriculture too, but there's lots of stuff in the way before we can do that. But that's the way it goes. All right. I got the stuff here for the docking station. I'll just go ahead and make like 16 more of these just because they're useful and they take a little while because the empower. And uh, so there's the, uh, the quest for the docking station. And we can go ahead and... Put it right here. I'll stick an import bus onto it, and I hope that that works. Uh, I See, I could do a storage bus as well, but I want to keep carrying around the dank null, right? So I can put it there, and then... So it obviously has some stuff in it now. If I throw it on there, extraction mode, extract all but one. Count 1994. So it's on the docking station. Right, so it has 1994 dirt, but it is extracting the other stuff. And I guess I could put a speed upgrade in if I wanted to, or a few... You know what, I think I have some laying around. I have one laying around. One is plenty. Just throw that in there. And that's just gonna suck everything out of that and put it in the uh, ME system, which is pretty cool. Uh, the ME system is getting a little bit full from some other stuff, but I think that's fine. Yeah, I do think that's fine. And again, it's going to be a really long time before we get to the last stage of the Danknull, which is basically infinite. Uh, we're going to need a lot of stuff for that. Actually, you know what? There's no way we can do this now. We need quantum compression. A thousand emeralds? That's like nothing. Is that not? That's not nothing. I'm jumping it. No, it is nothing. <laughs> I have 12,000 emerald ore. We might be closer to the like infinite Danknull than I thought. Because this black hole unit, 64k machine case, two quantum entangle porters, and this is not bad at all. Oh my god. Wait, hang on, hold up. All I need to make is this quantum compressor. Okay, we're further away than I thought. <laughs> 
Oh, well. That can be for another time. Uh, but that's okay. How are we doing on Corellium? Has the laser drill been good at all? We had 77 before. And we still have 77. That's, man, that sucks really bad. I wish uh, I didn't have to wait on that. Um, well, I mean, at least I accomplished something today. The Danknell docking station. You know what? Despite what you might think, I think it's something. Um, how are we doing for these drives? I think these are still going to be mostly empty. Yeah. Um, I can make another few, I guess. Probably don't need to. Um, actually, do I have 64K? I do have one. Oh, I have just an empty one there. And then I have this one here that I can just repurpose. So I'll stick these two in. Not sure why I just have them lying around, but can always make use of more. And now I don't have to worry about that, which is fine. But yeah, in the, uh, in the absence of more Corallium, I mean, I think I'm just going to have to cut this one off here because uh, I don't really see much else that I could do. Dark gem. Oh, this is from Dark Ore, right? Dark Ore. Dark gem, 134. Okay. And then I need to go make another one of these. Hardened signalum glass. Syringe. That's not... I mean, this isn't too bad to make, but I mean, at this point, I don't want to get into a whole new mod. Uh, sort of this late into an episode. So I think I'm just going to cut my losses. And we're going to end this one off here. So... Maybe by tomorrow's episode, I'm going to have enough Corallium to get into Blood Magic. If not, then I will get into Evil Craft. And I'll probably just get into Evil Craft regardless. It just may or may not accompany uh, getting into Blood Magic. But hopefully that uh, builder, and maybe by now we can check on it and see if um, it has actually started mining anything. But, like, I realize there's a lot of empty space uh, with the with the things that I said, and I could just set it lower so it only gets the, you know, non-empty space. That would probably make it a lot faster. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I guess it has started to get stuff here a little bit. This import bus has enough stuff. It's just not importing because this is full. Why is it full? Because it has too many types of items. I guess that makes sense. So I'll just put these into our system come back and throw it in the drive but i guess well is, is any of this corallium no yeah i mean i think it's a pretty rare or i don't really know what you're supposed to do about that other than set up a bunch of laser drills because as far as i know the laser drill and the excavator from ie are the only ways to like generate ores right everything else just takes them from the world and the deep dark maybe So Corallium ore spawns pretty rarely in the overworld, right? But then a pearlescent Corallium ore? I mean, that's even rarer in the Abyssal Wasteland, and that only drops the pearls, which makes sense. Abyssal Corallium ore, though. 0 0.27, 0 0.19, but then a lot higher concentration. I should probably just set up a builder in the Abyssal Wasteland, huh? That would make a lot of sense. Um, I may do that if by tomorrow, like I'll leave this running overnight. If by tomorrow I don't have like a complete shitload of Corallium, then I will do that. Uh, but I think the plan for tomorrow involves evil craft either way. That took no time at all to be imported. Holy shit. What the hell? Did it just like copy it all over to a single drive or something? You'd still think it would take some time. I get it's, you know, doesn't actually have to obey drive speed or anything, but it usually does. That's weird. Anyway. I'm going to throw this back in here. Hopefully we get to uh, fill it up with some more useful stuff than it has been. It's a little bit useful already. Not entirely. Oh, but that's okay. Well, I won't keep you any longer. We're basically on a quest for more Corallium. This whole setup I should just replicate in the, uh, in the Abyssal Wasteland, though. I think that is going to be a plan. And maybe even... Maybe even the Dreadlands? It doesn't look like it, though. I think it's just overworld into Abyssal. But yeah, definitely looks more common here. And we should get some more that way. But uh, anyway, yeah. You know the plan. You know the deal. Tomorrow's a new day. And we can move on. But for now, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.